Five local students competing in the National Science Bowl from our area are heading to Washington, D.C. tomorrow. News Channel 10's Angelica Brown joins us live in the News Center to tell us how this competition could have a lasting impact on their career choice. I spoke with all five of the Bonham Middle School competitors who say they aren't nervous for the big competition. Their teachers are hoping these young students will want to pursue a career in science, especially the female students. I'm really excited for it because like, it, it took a ton of work, so it's good to be rewarded for all the work that my whole team has put in. These five Bonham Middle School students prepared for the National Science Bowl by studying as a group every day after school, reading all areas of science. The kids worked extremely hard to get there. They put in as much effort as they could going outside sources and really researching and working hard, which a lot of kids have done in the past. I think it just, it worked out perfect for us. It was, it was a Cinderella story for us, really. The Department of Energy launched the Science Bowl in 1990 to interest today's youth in pursuing careers in science, math, technology, and engineering. I want to be a theoretical physicist. Pantex officials are saying there's been a big push recently to have more females join these kinds of career fields. I really think the human body is really interesting. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor. I like helping people and I like science a lot too. So I think I could make a big impact on the world when I grow up. Pantex manager of transformation communications, Laura Bailey, says having more women in these fields can help with critical thinking. Because they have a different and a unique perspective on some of these areas. So it helps having a very diverse group of individuals out there in these subjects who can lead us into the future because the field is wide open. It's hard to even imagine what's coming next in these fields. Three out of the five local competitors are female and all of them plan on staying in the science or math industry. I think they can make just as a big impact as um, men can and they're definitely a key factor in science and math in any um, area. The group will stay in Washington DC until next Monday. They will be competing with over 50 teams hoping to win some money for their science department. Live in the News Center, Angelica Brown, News Channel 10.